Now, it can be hard to imagine what life must be like for soldiers on the front line of a conflict. But a new BBC Two documentary about the war in Ukraine is attempting to do just that. Filmed over nine weeks, Ukraine, Enemy in the Woods, uses footage filmed by the soldiers themselves as they attempt to stop a direct attack on the country's second largest city, Kharkiv. In a minute, we'll speak to director Jamie Roberts. But first, take a look at this. Well, as promised, uh, director Jamie Roberts is with us now. Jamie, morning to you. It really is a powerful documentary. Um, how do you start to work on something like this? Um, I'd seen uh, videos online of soldiers posting their experience, which was quite different to what we were seeing in the news, but it didn't have any context. So that was really the starting point. And then from there, with BBC Current Affairs, we started looking at could we actually get to the front lines to meet the people and uh, arm them to be able to film their own stories as well as me filming with them. Yes, and that's the point, isn't it? Really difficult to get access to and to film with any sort of safety. Um, what plans, what preparations do you have to make to be able to get footage like that? Um, so you have to be there on the ground with them. Um, and yeah, you're right. It's really we were trying to get into those the red, the the zero line, the very front line where the fighting is, where the journalists can't go. So I go with a, I went with an ex para. Um, we spend a lot of time looking for the right unit to work with, um, and daily we're in touch with BBC Current Affairs to try and keep as safe as possible. But it is a war zone. Um, we see so many very difficult images on the television nowadays, don't we? Um, that sometimes I think you can become a little bit immune to just how dangerous a situation is. Can you describe for us what the situation was in the woods at that time? How dangerous was it? Um, well, I mean, you see in the documentary, several people are killed, just they were there for seven weeks. I think they lost 10 people um, and quite a lot were badly injured. To go any anywhere near the front line, there's artillery, shelling, um, bombs, but the in the woods in specific, particular, the Russians are attacking all the time. They're just trying to hold them back with machine guns and Kalashnikovs. They haven't really got any heavy weapons. So, you know, they're, they're fighting a superpower and they haven't got much to do it with. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's very dangerous. And every unit that goes there loses a lot of people. Um, and you get a real sense from watching it as well about the support that the men need to give each other. Uh, we've got a little clip of that, um, of what they did before they headed out to the front line. Just let's have a look. Ты готов? Так, тут раз, два, три, четыре, пять, я шесть. Ты тоже в бой? Ну, по идее, да. Плюс, надо нам же ж не нарушать традиции. Ну, да. Иисусе Христе, иду, иду в дорогу. Дай мне три ангела на подмогу. Один Михаил мне дорогу простреляет. Ну, и делами мою управляет. Ну, что будет оберегает. Имя Отца и Сына, и Святого Духа. Аминь. And when you get footage like that, how do you start to weave that into the narrative and the story and, 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 and what you want to tell, because this is about real people in horrendous situations. Yeah, so the soldier there, Vovan, who's talking, they had a base that was very near the front line, so I would be at the base or the command post, retrieving the footage, reviewing that, asking them to 
could they take the cameras off their helmets, just working with them to be able to capture what they were doing, but then also interviewing them along the way. So it's like, OK, you, I've never seen this before. You're praying before you go out. And it's, yeah, we do that each time because it's dangerous in the forest and we think it gives us good luck. So really trying to unpack their experiences as we're, as we're going. I think previously I'd thought maybe we follow a group over a long period of time. But when I got there, I realised that basically a group goes out and they last four, five, six weeks. And then they're so decimated, they have to come back. They have to regroup and, and get new people involved. And tell us a bit about the people themselves. What sort of people were they? Yeah, so they, they were, they were, none of them were soldiers before the war. So Vauvan was a steel worker. Um, some are uh, they're bricklayers, um, students. So they're actually very open in a way, in a different way, like not normal, like normal professional soldiers, I would say. Um, there's Natalia, who was the one female in the unit, and um, she she was a combat medic, um, and previously she'd been a veterinarian, so she was not trained to be a doctor, but she'd been brought in, and she was the last doctor left. So they're all quite special people, and also kind of really shared their innermost feelings, which I think is unique. I think we can see Natalia now. <laughs> Серед хлопців. Тільки хорошу, давай якусь крепку. Мені приходиться їх лічити всіх, підтримувати їх, тому що кожен хоче підтримки. Е, нічого, не треба мутати. Прийде. Я старий та херня. Заживе як на собаці. Я ще вечором приїду. Добре. У мене освіта ветеринарна, тому мені сказали, ну, ти ж все одно ветеринар. Підеш на медика вчитися. Будеш людей лікувати. What was the most surprising for you when you got this footage back? Um, I think I suppose that actually seeing the people that um, we were filming with in fierce gun battles, losing their friends in, in the moment. I think that was, um, th that was kind of what we were there to capture, but when you actually capture it and you can actually then ask them what it feels like to lose your best friend in the moment and how you keep fighting and how you deal with that, that felt like we were in a kind of unique place, I suppose. Mm. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's a very different environment to the one that we live in, so it, it's, it's almost just like going into a parallel universe, to be honest. And Jamie, you were embedded with them, basically. What's it like now to come out of that? It must be very strange for you. Yeah, I mean, I think the main thing is I watched the film the other day. We had a screening and it's just thinking that they're still there. They've rotated out. They're trying to regroup and they're going to have to go back to either the forest or somewhere else. They're a really effective unit, so they're going to have to go to one of the hotspots. And, you know, you, I built, I care about those people and you build relationships with them, but they're kind of one group amongst many along a really long front line. And I suppose thinking about the enormity of, of that and how different it is to how we live um, does give you some perspective. Jamie, thank you. Um, it really is an incredible um, piece of television. Thank you very much. Um, that's Jamie Roberts. And uh, if you want to watch that documentary in full, it's called Ukraine, Enemy in the Woods. It airs tonight. It's on BBC Two at nine o'clock. And you can watch it, of course, on the BBC iPlayer. Thank you. Thank you very much.